everyone. We're here at the official Week Zero event with FMA Team 316, the Lunatex. They're here to show us about their robot and its complex mechanisms that allow it to score efficiently on the field. Coming up next on Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineer their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotics scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu first to learn more and apply. Support funds content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and fund members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support. So to start off from here with our drivetrain, um, currently we uh, our drivetrain is 28.25 inches by 28.25 inches. Uh, we are running uh, Mark IV inverted modules for Swerve Drive with Kraken X60s on both the drive and steer modules. And we have the upgrade kits on the drive modules to help us go insanely fast. Then moving over here to our A-frame, this helps hold our elevator and shooter in its location during the match. Um, and the elevator sits on this uh, giant pivot here, and that's powered by two Falcon 500s. And the pivot allows our shooter to move to different um, uh, angles when we're scoring it in the uh, speaker. And the elevator connects to our shooter here through this pivot, which we'll get to in a minute. So I'm gonna hand it over to Trevor to talk a little bit about our intake. All right, so for the intake, uh, it's a pretty simple uh, four bar design. We've done four bar designs in the past. Um, it's very simple. So the uh, intake flips out forward and picks up our game piece. And then uh, these series of rollers, which are powered by this Falcon right here, um, bring it up. And these deflectors will actually push the game piece into uh, our feed rollers for the shooter. So uh, Maria here is going to explain how the uh, shooter operates. Yeah, so following our intake, we have our shooter. So towards the back of it, we have feeder rollers. So that allows us to intake the note directly from the intake into the shooter. And towards the front of it, we have two sets of top bottom wheels that are powered by two Kraken motors. And as Matt mentioned earlier, the entire shooter is set on a pivot, and then the ele and then that pivot is set onto an elevator, which is also on a pivot. And also, our shooter has a sensor on it that allows us to keep game pieces in before we're ready to shoot them. Now, from here, I'll pass it on to Nikhil to talk about our programming. Hi. Yeah. So going into the season, we wanted to make driving this robot as easy as possible. So we have some controls that make it so our driver and operator don't have to think if we can control this robot really easily. So let me enable the robot. Over here on the driver controller, we have our driver obviously controlling the base and only the intake. For the intake, all we have to do is press one trigger and it brings out the four bar intake, runs the motors, and has the uh, ring go all the way into the feeder. So just like that. And you'll see on the shooter, there's a proximity sensor. So once the game piece triggers in the proximity sensor, but intake goes right back in, and the feeder motors and intake motors stop. And then it is passed off to the operator. So when the operator hits, we, we have one goal, score it into the speaker. So for the speaker, we have three buttons to align the uh, shooter to the speaker using the pivot. So this is the bottom position, the mid position, and then the top position, which is how we score. Using the top position, it's a sequence command that brings down the intake and brings the pivot up. And then to shoot, it's one button, button revs the shooter wheels up and when it's ready we release the feeder motor let it run and it shoots out so we bring down the intake bring it up and then we shoot so this robot all works really well together can you talk a little bit more about your process and your prototyping bringing it all together in one robot so yeah to start off this year um, we decided we want to test our capabilities and try a bunch of new things. So this is our first year starting off the season with Swerve Drive using the new Kraken X60 motors. We also have decided that we were going to use a bunch of pivots, which in the past we've only used one pivot, but now we have major mechanisms of our robot on a giant pivot here. Um, and actually, this is only our practice bot. Currently, our competition bot is in the works. 
back here, and we're hoping we can debut this at our next district event. And some upgrades we're going to do between now and then is working on lightening the robot to whatever we're comfortable with and changing out different things to help our efficiency, um, as well as moving to different set points. Uh, in the future, we'd like to extend our elevator all the way up so we can score in the trap. And we'd like to be able to make our pivots work super fast so we can easily score in the shooter and amp in ample time. That sounds awesome. Thank you for sharing that with us, 316. A very cool robot. Super excited to see your finally formed competition robot take to the field. And good luck in the 2024 season. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineer their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash first to learn more and apply. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Most live shows can be found on the First Updates Now YouTube channel, live competitions at twitch.tv slash firstupdatesnow, and join our Discord at discord.gg slash firstupdatesnow. Check our other social offerings on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.